we're gonna uh, repair our haul out today and I thought we'd bring you along with us. I think I missed it. Of course Gunner's gonna go chase the eagles off the beach. <laughs> it's my beach! Alright, so here's the culprit. We replaced this pulley. Uh, we're gonna put another one on because the other one, uh, you don't have to, uh, it locks these nuts in place and you don't have to have a wrench so we're gonna we're gonna use that pulley instead of this one and then over here you can see because of it fraying uh, it won't pass through the pulley system so we're going to um, replace this line as well So why we had to replace these pulleys anyways is because for ten dollars more you can get the pulleys that have can you zoom in on that for ten dollars more you can get the pulleys that have these little notches in it so you don't have to have a, uh, a wrench or a pair, or poke a pair of pliers down in there and try and hold the nuts they uh, hold themselves in place so for ten extra bucks this is well worth it because when it's cold and nasty and that's typically when you got to change these things um, you know, when something goes wrong, uh, $10 is all the difference in the world. We took this guy off of the outside chain. It still moves good, so we're gonna, we just moved it to the inside chain, and we're gonna put a new one on the outside. And then this one here, uh, the pulley system stopped working on it. So we're gonna replace it all together Put a new one on there, and then we'll take we'll take these that we got and we'll take them back and clean them up And that way when we need them again, we'll have pulleys that we can come out here and and use So we got the center and the uh, the Outside screw on are off and then that way we can pull this apart Slip it right Slip on it in there. Right on there. There you go <laughs> Maybe, maybe, baby. So, uh, I went back to go get uh, a smaller screwdriver to disassemble that little one, and uh, Gunner found something in the water that he didn't like. He ran in there and got it. <laughs> We're not sure what it was. You don't think it's an otter, right? No, I don't think it was an otter. I don't know. If, Maybe I don't a know fish what he saw. Or a crab was close to it. <laughs> we don't know. It was I a, don't know. All of a sudden, I heard a big kaplunk. <laughs> <laughs> you just heard some turbulence. I was like, "What is that?" Oh no. Jenner thinks this whole beach is his. All right, there we go. We got our otter pulley. Our inner pulley, and we got uh, this inner pulley, and then the outer pulley. Three new pulleys on here. One pulley was still turning good, so we left it here, and then uh, we're gonna take the other pulleys back, clean them up. Uh, next thing we gotta do is we got we got a brand new um, spool of line. We're gonna run the line through the pulley system, and then back up and and uh, tie tie it off, tie us a little knot to tie our bow lines to and, and then tie it off up top there and yeah let's get uh, let's get this project finished up Here's our new line. Let's take it down there and get this strung up right. That's a good piece of wood for that. It's my hammer handle. Is it? Yeah. 
All right, so the tide's coming up, so we're kind of uh, fighting against time now. So we're gonna haul booty to get this thing strung through our lines. Let's go. You got the handle? Yes. All right. Uh, no, we'll probably do it next. That rested right on my knee. Perfect. Did it? Good. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it like it was just the right amount of line, huh? Yeah, it totally was. Look. Yeah. That should be good. You want to go down and keep going? Yeah. We got the we got the line spooled through all the pulleys. Now we're gonna go down and tie a little knot so we can attach our bow line to, and then we'll come back up here and tie these two lines or these two ends together, and that's what we will tie to the tree up there, and uh, it will secure the line to the tree up there. <laughs> all right, so then you need to come up to the tree too because that's where we want yes, right everything to end at. Okay. Alright, so once we're down here, she's holding the end up there at where we want it to tie off at. And then I come down here. She's got the excess line up there. That's, uh, that's like our secure point. So then I come down here and I'm going to tie just a knot in this so we can attach a our uh, bow line to you. we're going to attach our bow line to and uh, this will tighten up even more snug when uh, when uh, we put the boat on it and the wind starts pulling the weight against the boat and it'll snug it up real good. All right so here's the, the two end pieces I cut this off um, so now we just have to join them you can put whatever knot you want, want on here but uh, I just like to tie these suckers together any which way I can and I like to put a couple knots and these are just like half hitches but I put like three half hitches on here There you go, and then then you can just run your uh, run this through your knot that you tied up here, and then tie it to your tree, and that's that. All right, guys, so we're going to start uh, cleaning these pulleys up. Uh, I'm going to show you what 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 we got going on here. 
Uh, all right, as you can let me see here, as you can see, you get a bunch of barnacles down in there, and and this side looks good, but this side's got a bunch of junk in there, and I can't uh, pull them apart, so we'll probably have to beat on them a little bit. So let's let's get this project going. This one's not too bad. That first one was really bad. What do you think was just holding them? Oh, they've just got all this gunk in here, so. Got it. There we go. So you see all the little barnacles in there? That's what keeps it from turning. Yeah, and then there's some barnacles. Oh, that one came off. Yeah, so this one's not too bad. The first one I did was really bad, so we got it apart. Got this little Hmm? Oh, I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> well, I was talking to the video too. I'm talking to both of you. So we got this thing apart. Uh, it's got this little um, copper piece here. That's kind of what keeps it from supposedly binding up, but uh, we're still gonna take it down there and, and clean her up a little. All right, there we go. We got it all cleaned up. We got them all cleaned up. Uh, we're we're just gonna put the nuts and bolts back into them, and we'll just store them away for the next time we need them. Uh, it's always nice to have extra stuff on hand when you're living out here like this. That way, you don't have to run into town. If you need something right away, you always have something. So, I like stuff like this. I always try to keep an extra couple on hand. PVC stuff screws nails you know stuff like that stuff that you're going to need a lot of i always try to just keep an, an extra one or two available so you have it when you need it the most all right thank you guys for watching we'll see you next week so once we're down here she's holding it's crooked as hell all right so here's uh, here's the the end of it uh we're just gonna here you got him sorry you got him <laughs> do it again.